Now he punches out six fold more dips. He can just go set after set after set. He's increasing volume and repetition. Turns out that most of your heat dumping occurs through three locations on your body. It's called a glabrous skin. It's very interesting. It's the hairless skin, which is on the upper part of the face, the palms of the hands, and the bottoms of your feet. Now you can dump heat through those. They're like portals where you dump heat. So you can cool the body by effectively taking like something like this. There's a device that um, Craig has, they have a, there's this company called Cool Mitt. It's only available now to athletes and to military, but um, it should be available to consumers soon where you can cool the core of the body simply by holding a, a, something of the appropriate cold temperature. Now, if it's too cold, it'll constrict the vessels and it just shuts down the system, not good. So this is amazing. They've done some experiments in Craig's lab with the guys from the 49ers who could come in, they give them 10 sets of dips is wild, but it's published peer review data, 10 sets of dips. One of their athletes, I forget, cause he's a pro athlete, did 40 dips on the first set. And then it kind of drops 10 to with three minutes rest in between comes back in a few days. And now they have him in between sets for three minutes. I think it was three, maybe two minutes, hold on to the appropriate temperature cooling device. Now he punches out six fold more dips. He can just go set after set after set. He's increasing volume and repetitions. So he's not getting stronger. He can do more. I know it's crazy, what? but but the way it works is is very well understood. Do you have, when your muscle works, like let's say you're doing curls on, yeah, this is cool, man. Um, so this is at work in a lot of uh, special, special forces guys, 49ers. We're watching a video oh, for yeah. the folks that are just listening. And it also, okay, that's it. So it's on his knee? Well, he's got his hand in in a, oh, in a yeah, in there. yeah on a on a cold pad. And it's only one hand. It's only one hand because you're passing. You can't really pass cool into the body, but you're you're cooling off the heat of the body. And we don't often think about the relationship between heat and performance, but it's very straightforward. So when you let's say you're doing a set of curls, mm -hmm. curls always seem to be the example. But you're doing a set of curls. The bicep is heating up, and eventually you hit failure. The reason you hit failure is not because you don't have the strength to do it. You just did a rep with that. It's because muscle contraction is dependent on, a, on an enzyme called pyruvate kinase. And as the muscle heats up, pyruvate kinase can't work and you can't convert energy into ATP and the muscle, that's failure, is the heating of the actual muscle tissue. So when you cool the body at its core, pyruvate kinase can continue to convert ATP into energy and the muscle keeps contracting. And they've done this with endurance also. It's a, it's a really interesting area. And this literature actually goes back about 10 years, but no one had ever devised this. 